okay so now that we understood what a version control system is let us talk about different types of version control systems right based on the architecture actually they were categorized as centralized version control systems and distributed version control systems so let's see this categorization so yeah coming to the centralized version control system yeah you can see the diagram right like i said depending on the architecture they were categorized so as per the diagram you can see there is one central server this one you may call it a central server or a remote server where all the project where all the code base is kept right and then you have a uh, different like you have you can see your working copy these are nothing but the workstations of different devops person or developer whatever you call them right so first we learn the version control systems with respect to managing our code base managing our files then we learn to integrate it in the pipeline okay so yeah every person will have uh, uh, his own his workstation so every person will connect to this remote repository or central repository whatever you call it right and work on it this is a, that's all this is a simple architecture of central version control systems and there are some drawbacks or limitations of this kind of architecture like the first limitation is you need to always have network connectivity because you need to connect to the central server or remote server where all the project where all the code base is right so that's the one thing where you need to have always network connection and also let's say for some reasons the central server is lost chances of recovering that data is very less chances of recovery is very less means because it works like a single source of truth if the data is gone if the uh, if the central server is lost that's all there's no backup there right so this is how centralized version control system works understood the architecture of central version control systems any questions on this part right so i believe this is clear so now that you understood centralized version control system architecture let us talk about the architecture of distributed version control systems yes any question from anyone okay right so yeah here is the distributed version control system architecture here you can see yes this is the central server or remote repository where all the project all the code base is kept and every individual every person this is the workstation of each individual uh, developer okay this is the workstation and if you see the workstation of each individual developer they will be having another repository which is called as local repository means in distributed architecture will be having two repositories one is remote repository the other one is local repository okay now again developer will not work directly on this remote repository okay rather they will be working on some other folder called as working directory or working copy means they make some changes in a the folder then move those changes to local from local to remote means it's like a three steps before we move our changes to remote let's suppose changes are only in the local repository they are only confined for me means as long as the changes are in the local repository they are confined only for ourselves right making sense everyone so they are confined only for me only once i move my changes to remote others can see the changes right so this is the distributed architecture right and here yeah uh, coming to the drawbacks you need network connectivity only to move your changes to remote once in a while because majority of the times we work on this local repository right we make changes here we develop everything once complete work is done we'll push to remote so working with the local remote repository is like we do more majority of the work here we pull we pull to i mean we push to remote or uh, get from changes from remote once in a while so these are 
like pulling and pushing to remote these commands are less frequent majority of the times we work here so we don't need network connect even though network connection is disconnected you can still continue working on local repository right you need network connectivity only to push or pull to remote so even though network connectivity is not there entire work is not halted you can still continue working that is one thing and the another thing is um yeah about networking another thing yeah uh, let, let's say this remote repository is lost chances of recovery are more because everyone is having a copy of that remote repository which is called local repository right so chances of recovery is more got the point all of you everyone can i get a quick confirmation from everyone yeah, yes. right so chances of recovery are also more so that's how it overcomes the drawback so centralized version control system and yeah like i said we'll be pushing or pulling means we'll be moving our changes to remote or get the changes from remote once in a while which are less frequent majority of the times we'll be working on our local system means it also works faster right you need to just access your hard disk to work on local so this is the architecture of distributed version control system and majority of the modern devops projects uses version control systems with this kind of architecture right so it's a distributed version control system and what are distributed version control system yes our git falls under distributed version control systems git fossils mercurial all this comes under distributed then what are the examples for centralized version control systems svn tfs fairforce these are the examples of centralized version control systems got it all of you clear everyone so yes. yeah yes and yeah because like i said distributed version control systems are used in majority of the modern devops projects that to get it is very widely used when compared with any other version control systems uh, is the architecture clear for each and every one any questions you can feel free to ask me if you want me to repeat anything or any questions you could feel free to ask me okay that's about the version control system and 